Well, Kathy Hochul now holds the state's highest office after decades of work in local, state, and federal governments. But as News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan explains, her passion to serve others was inspired in Syracuse as a student. Hi, Kathy Hochul. Hi, Kathy Hochul. When the rest of the state was watching Kathy Hochul, Ernie Wolski from Brooklyn saw who he remembers as Kathy Courtney. I see that smile that I recognized so well in school. That smile we're all going to get accustomed to seeing. In the late 70s, the two were classmates at Syracuse University. I am spelling with pride uh, being able to tell friends and family about my relationship with the governor, our friendship in Syracuse, and the fact that I had the good sense to appoint her to be my vice president when I was student association president, which probably was the best decision I ever made there. Their work and the now governor's name is all over the archives of the student newspaper. They petitioned the administration for a new student center. Shine still stands today. In 1978, she led a boycott of the university bookstore, winning students affordable prices. But Kathy also learned what it was like to not get her way. Her movement to name the new dome for Ernie Davis lost to Carrier. New York is going to see that willingness to work hard. They're going to see that smile on the television screen. They're going to get used to it, and they're going to see that willingness that we saw that she's going to want to pursue an open, honest, and transparent government. I think she's going to work really hard, just like she did in Syracuse. After each graduated, the classmates lost touch, but Wolski's paid attention to Hochul's career, from Erie County Clerk to Congress. One of the things I think she's going to do uh, that I saw in college is that she's going to broaden the circle of inclusiveness. She's going to bring more people into the decision-making process. So she's going to achieve a consensus of opinion that's going to lead to direct action uh, on behalf of New Yorkers. Wolski sent Hochul a T-shirt he still had from their student protest. She helped him back in the day. Now he's happy to return the favor. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.